What's up guys, Hasib here from What's Up Tech. So I have been using Pixel 7 Pro for almost a month and I thought to share a video with you guys where I would share some tips and tricks regarding Pixel 7 Pro so that you can get the best out of this already very powerful smartphone. Number one tip from my side would be that Pixel 7 Pro no doubt has a beautiful looks and it has a very very unique looking camera bar or camera visor but I would recommend you guys to put a case on the back of the phone because this bar or visor gets scratches very very easily. I did risk my device, I ordered a case as soon as I ordered my phone and I slapped the case from, very, from the day first of my phone usage and that's the reason why my bar is safe and secure and I'm using this phone with the peace of mind. So it's time to fix the Pixel's Pixel problem. So Pixel 7 Pro by default is set with 1080p screen resolution uh, which is not ideal. So we can change that by going into the setting app and then selecting the display option and if you scroll down you will see the screen resolution. You can select the QHD plus option and now you can enjoy the full potential of Pixel 7 Pro's display. So one of the best thing about Android is that you can customize number of icons. You can do that by selecting the wallpaper and style, scroll down, select app grid and then inside the app grid I would highly recommend you to select 5 by 5 options. Uh, this gives you option to put a lot of apps on your home screen and you don't have to search your device across for multiple apps. Uh, it gives you an additional bonus option as well if you focus on this circular icon it's a dynamic icon and it changes its behavior as per your last selected app so if i open facebook it will become a facebook icon and if i open twitter it will become a twitter icon so that's an additional bonus you get with five cross five grid one of the strangest behavior i found on my pixel 7 pro was the power button so power button is mapped to google assistant not power off or restart the device then i realized that to power off or restart my device i have to press and hold power button and volume up button together it's a very quirky action and i don't like it to change this behavior you have to go back to setting apps and scroll down for the system option and then gestures and if you scroll at the bottom you will find press and hold the power button you turn the hold for assistant option off and after that you are back in the old good days pressing and holding the power button will show you the power off options the always on display on pixel 7 pro is turned off by default and you should turn it on as it's an ltpo and amoled panel you can turn it on by selecting the setting app selecting the display option and selecting lock screen and if you scroll down to the bottom you will see always show time and info once you turn it on and if your device is locked you will always able to see time and date info some of the notification stuff and the battery percentage as well you don't need to unlock your device to see this information currently my pixel 7 pro is showing me that i have received a couple of notification that is fine but if i pull down a notification i can see the content of it as well without unlocking my device to change this behavior you can go to home settings at gallon setting and then sensitive content on lock screen and then you can disable sensitive notifications option once you disable it and you go back on the lock screen you will be able to see there are notifications but you will not be able to see the content of notifications without unlocking your device so this is a good option if you want your sensitive data to not be visible on lock screen but if you're fine with that you can keep it enabled what if i tell you your pixel phone has a secret button on the back and you can use it by double tap to assign it any action you can go inside the setting and then scroll down to the system and then select gesture options and the first option is quick tap to start action here you can assign it to take any action or even you can assign it to open any app of your choice as well uh, for the purpose of demo i will assign it to open the twitter app and once i'm done with that i will demo it to you guys so i will lift up my device and do a double tap and it will open the twitter app 
so it works like a magic i'll do it again uh, yeah so double tap and twitter app is opened so it works with the case as well as my phone has a case and it's a very smooth action if you are someone who recently switched to the pixel phone finding the split screen mod is a bit difficult for that you have to go to the recent apps and then find an app of your choice and selecting on the app icon will give you split screen option you can select that app and another one and your screens will be split between both of the apps you can readjust the size of the window as per your choice and once you are done with it you can go back to the full screen mod and the good point is that both of the apps will remain in memory they will not be closed if you made out this far in the video that's amazing and i thank you very much and a sub to the channel would be really really appreciated and there is a bonus tip at the end of the video as well so hold on and wait till the last point if you open pixels camera app you will see there is no grid lines available for aligning the subject so you can change this behavior by opening the camera app and selecting the setting more setting and scrolling down and finding the grid type option i would recommend you to select 3 by 3 grid but it's up to your choice and now if you open the camera app you will have nice grid lines available to align your subject as per your requirement so yeah it's a highly recommended option to turn on so the next feature is photo unblur uh, this is Pixel 7 exclusive feature. It's not available for Pixel 6 series as well. Um, and what it does is that it unblurs a photo even if you take it with your latest Pixel device or old Pixel or old phone. Maybe it's available in your old photo library. You can unblur a photo. So how you do is that you open your photo apps. I have already downloaded one of my old photo. Maybe I can't remember. I taken it with uh, OnePlus 3D or some old device. So I had a photo in my hand and I taken a photo of it um, and you can see the photo is blurred. So you can go to edit option and then go for tools and after that you will see the unblur feature. So Tensor G2 will play its role and you can see that it has already unblurred my face. Um, this is the first time I'm seeing the photo unblurred. Uh, so this was the original photo and that's what the operation has done it. Uh, you can change you know the the density of the operation by changing this number uh, for me i'm very good with 100 percent i will done the operation so it's taking some time to complete it and now i will save the copy of a photo so yeah the original photo is kept in place and another copy of the photo is created so yeah the operation has done good job so kudos for it smart storage something which i would recommend you guys to enable because it will handle storage on your device smartly so how you enable is that you open the files app and then you hit the burger menu at the top left and you select the setting option there is a option called smart storage and what does it mean is that all of your photos will be backed up on google cloud and after that it will be kept in your device for 60 days and after 60 days it will be deleted automatically from your phone so that your phone storage can remain empty and those photos are available in google cloud so i would recommend you guys to enable it so that you don't worry about running out of the storage on your smartphone your pixel phone has a secret location called locked folder which can only be accessed by you because for opening that folder you have to provide a password or pin code you can enable this locked folder by going inside the google's file app uh, let me go back and if you open the google's file app you can hit the top left burger menu and once you hit the burger menu you will see the setting option you can select the setting option and if you see there there is an option called save folder uh, I have already set my save folder but you can set up your save folder by giving it a pin or a password and once you set it up after that inside the files app you will see uh, there is a save folder available you cannot open it without giving it a pin or a password once you set up your lock folder you can use it inside your camera app 
so if i open my camera app and i see my recent taken photo if i hold and click it for a few seconds i can select the option of locked folder now all of my photos taken from now onward will saved inside the lock folder and no one will be able to access it without giving it a password or pin and i can revert this operation back by holding the same option and selecting the photo gallery so yeah this option is available for the privacy purposes you are working in an office environment or you are focusing on some project and you don't want your social media notifications to distract you android 13 gives you option called focus mode for these problems so you can turn the focus mode by going into the setting app and then scroll down and select digital wellbeing and after that you can select the focus mode and here you can give it a list of apps which you want to be muted during your focus mode and after the selecting the app you can also select a schedule for your focus mode as well so that it can turn on automatically for example i want focus mode to be on between 9 to 5 and for the demo purposes i'll turn the focus mode on now so once the focus mode is turned on you will see the apps you have selected are grayed out and you will not receive any notifications from the selected apps and if you want to use that app your app will be allowed for only 5 minutes so as soon as the 5 minutes time is passed your app will automatically be closed by you know the android operating system um so it's a very good option if you are someone who is working in an office environment or if you want to focus on something i think you should turn your focus mode on so that's it for today's video guys i hope you learned a few new tricks to make the best out of your already very powerful pixel phone and i hope you enjoyed the video a sub to the channel would be really really appreciated and i would see you guys in the next one until then enjoy your life